Not a single person has returned from the dead with proof of an afterlife. Yet that doesn't stop us from imagining what it's like. Death is unfortunately an inevitable and unstoppable reality we all must face one day. In cultures around the world, and even science has tried to determine what happens to us next. Whether you believe in more religious things like heaven and hell, or more scientific explanations like turning into pure energy and being absorbed into another life form, we've compiled a list of films that explore that very subject. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Every new sub helps us achieve our goal and keeps us motivated to create new content. With that being said, I'm your host, Jamie, and here are 10 films about the afterlife. Number 1. The Lovely Bones Losing a child is never easy. Even those of us who don't have children of our own can imagine what it's like to lose someone who still had so much life ahead of them. Sometimes accidents happen and there's nothing you could have done to prevent it. However, unfortunately, in too many cases, young lives are snuffed out by insidious characters who relish in harming others. Child predators are no joke, and this film takes both a beautiful look at the afterlife for a young girl, while also addressing the seriousness of serial murderers and what it does to the victims' families. Little Susie Salmon had a bright future ahead of her. She loves art and photography and has a warm, loving family that is suddenly cut short when her neighbor, George, played incredibly unnerving by Stanley Tucci, develops an attraction to her and plans to kidnap and assault her. One day, she is led into a meadow by him. And since she's known him all her life, she doesn't suspect foul play right away. But soon... He traps her in this underground playhouse bunker that he built. She tries to fight back, but in the end, he ends her life right then and there. The rest of the film, we see how the, her father tries to put the pieces of her disappearance together and finally discover her body, while simultaneously exploring this colorful and welcoming afterlife that Susie must come to terms with, will now be her forever residence until the end of time. It's a great film up until that cheesy ending. It kind of undercuts the rest of the film to have this ridiculous rolling down the hill stunt, but otherwise, simply an amazing film that you should definitely check out by heading over to Max, Hulu, Roku, Prime, or Apple TV. Number two, what dreams may come. This one is a little tough to talk about since Robin Williams took his own life back in 2014. The plot of this film follows Chris Nielsen, played by Williams, who unfortunately dies in a car accident, leaving behind a loving wife, Maureen Nielsen. While Chris becomes accustomed to his new home through his angelic guide, Albert Lewis, played by Cuba Gooden Jr., he looks in on his widowed wife, and she's not doing too well. In fact, she's so distraught over his loss, she ends her own life. Chris tries to stop it and can't and thinks, well, if she ends up here, at least they'll be together again. However, Albert informs him that since she took her own life, she's not going to end up in heaven and instead she's going to a dark and cold place. Almost Dante's Inferno-esque. We follow Chris as he descends to hell to rescue the soul of his departed wife in a sharply emotional and visually stunning film that if you haven't seen it, head over to Prime, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Number three, always. Firefighters have one of the most dangerous jobs all over the world. They run into burning buildings moments before their collapse in hopes to rescue as many people as they can and put a stop to whatever disaster is occurring from spreading. This is especially true for aerial firefighters, who must fly over massive forest fires and do what they can to put it out and save whomever is in its path. This film follows Pete, one such firefighter, and his girlfriend Dolinda, a pilot and air traffic controller for the fire department. Since Pete's job is so dangerous and risky, she begs him to transfer to a more grounded profession. 
and after some heartbreaking and emotional arguments, he reluctantly agrees. However, there's one more mission on the board, and sadly, it's Pete's last. After his plane catches on fire, he crashes into the ground and ultimately perishes in the explosion. Walking through the wreckage, he meets Hap, who informs him of his demise and his new purpose in the world as a spiritus, also known as the Divine Breath. Basically, he uses his own life experiences and insight to provide guidance for the living. I won't spoil the rest of this film, as it unfolds beautifully, but it does leave you with some thoughtful insights of your own, especially those choices you've been lingering on, weighing the outcomes and whether to YOLO or take caution. Head over to Prime, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Number four, a ghost story. Usually when you hear a title like a ghost story, you think of hauntings and jump scares and all that. But while there are some creepy supernatural elements within this film, it's actually quite a sad and poignant drama about letting go. Plenty of films have been made about someone losing a loved one and being unable to let go of them after they departed. But this film takes the approach from the ghost being unable to let go of his former life and the woman he dearly loved. Much like The Road, the characters here don't have names because it's not as important as who they are as people dealing with grief, a representation of you, the audience. The ghost is tied to the house because this is where his best memories are. And that's the connecting factor, as you could say. Our own memories bring life to old ghosts. Moments that have long since passed with people that may be gone, but live inside your mind still. The ghost doesn't fully understand why he can't leave and begins to become a bit destructive, scraping the paint, knocking photo frames off the wall and so forth, giving the house a haunted reputa reputation. Over time, it becomes abandoned and derelict until finally it's bulldozed to nothing. This is all just a metaphor of being forgotten. As I mentioned before, memories have the power to keep a person or place alive. But once those memories fade, then they're, then they're truly gone. Overall, this is a beautiful film. And if you lost a loved one or reminisce about all the changes in your old neighborhood or any of that, this film is definitely food for thought. So head over to Max, Hulu, Prime, Fandango, or Apple TV to check it out. Number five, Beetlejuice. Tim Burton's iconic film about a recently deceased couple who accidentally summon a bio-exorcist to scare a family out of their old home has solidified itself into pop culture like an old headstone. Right from the start, the film introduces us to this very unique version of the afterlife by giving us the handbook for the recently deceased. Opening a magical door drawn on a brick wall with a special piece of chalk. In a waiting room filled with characters who died in laughable, but otherwise horrendous looking ways. It's darkly comedic, touching on several subjects that many will say are too taboo or tasteless. The kinds of topics that make people uncomfortable and interject a bit of humor into it to help us keep calm and laugh at all the absurdity. Soon afterward, the Dietzes move into their home. As time passes differently for those who are dead, and the house has been standing empty for months. While the family patriarch loves the rustic appeal of the house and its surroundings, Delia has other designs, ready to tear down walls and turn the house into a modern New York style art piece. This of course upsets the Maitlands and the, the couple that died at the beginning and they must find a way to scare this family out of their residence. After several failed attempts, they are left with no other choice but to summon Beetlejuice, a self-proclaimed bio-exorcist who will pull out all of the stops to get rid of the living. However, there's a catch. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't spoil it for you. So head over to Max, Prime, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Number six, The Frighteners. Directed by the same man who brought you the Lord of the Rings trilogy 
and the Hobbit films, this 90s spooktacular offering stars Michael J. Fox as Frank Bannister, a medium who can see and interact with the dead, and will help get rid of those ghosts haunting you, for a price of course. Unknown to his clients, however, he is in cahoots with the ghosts doing the haunting, a kind of a racket he set up to keep the money coming in while he searches for signs of his deceased wife. During some of his quote-unquote exorcisms, he spots glowing numbers on some of the people's foreheads. Not long after, those people end up dead. Turns out, the numbers are marks of death by the Reaper. And since Frank meets with these people shortly before their deaths, he is the prime suspect according to the cops. Filled with both gruesome death scenes and some downright hilarious and unforgettable moments, this classic should definitely be on your radar as it approaches the subject of the afterlife with a dark humor twist that leaves you feeling a lot less grim about it all. Make sure to head over to Tubi, Peacock, Prime, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope that you're enjoying all of our content. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. If you want to support us even further, there are numerous ways. First, check out FatNinja.shop, our very own merch store where we sell t-shirts, hoodies, hats, shoes, and more, featuring our logo and other designs. You can also join our Patreon, linked in the video description. Last but not least, we have officially launched the YouTube membership program. At only $4.99 a month, you'll get access to our monthly newsletter featuring reviews, previews, and exclusive behind-the-scenes information about our upcoming projects and videos. You also get a nifty little badge and special emojis that you can use during our upcoming live stream chats. And if you're a member of our Discord channel, you'll get access to a special role which gives you even better access to the Fat Ninja staff and the chance to enter a monthly prize drawing as well as a shout out at the end of our videos. The prize drawings will only begin once we have reached our goal of 50 members. Finally, you'll also be gifted a special coupon code good for 20% off any item from our store. We appreciate each and every one of you and are incredibly thankful for your support. Each new subscriber and member helps us achieve our goals and keeps us motivated to create new content each week. Thanks again. Take care. Number 7. Ghost Probably one of the greatest love stories ever told on top of being a truly chilling murder mystery th thriller with some seriously spooky scenes. Those Shadow Reaper things are absolutely terrifying. Like, holy shit. Fun fact. Real life married couple Bruce Willis and Demi Moore had number one box office hits simultaneously with this film and Die Hard 2. Something that hadn't happened since until Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds achieved the same recently with It Ends With Us and Deadpool and Wolverine, respectively. Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze have unbelievable chemistry in this film. And if you've seen it, I know that none of you can ever look at a clay wheel the same way again. Whoopi Goldberg and Tony Goldwyn round out this stellar cast which follows a young banker who gets caught up in an embezzlement scandal when he is killed for figuring out the truth, and must use the help of psychic Oda Mae Brown to deliver a message to his girlfriend about the danger she's in, and that he loves her very much and everything will be okay. A sexy and emotional soundtrack, and some of the most iconic scenes in romantic film history. Definitely tune in to for this one over on Paramount Plus, Hulu, Sling TV, Prime, or Fandango. Number 8. Defending Your Life Starring Albert Brooks, Meryl Streep, and Rip Torn, this film takes a look at the afterlife by judging you on what you did in your normal life. No one truly knows where they end up after they die. Some people believe in heaven or hell, some people believe we are reincarnated, and some just believe our molecules spread out and are reabsorbed by the universe because nothing really matters and we're just sparks of electricity. Whatever your beliefs are in this film, they take that approach of heaven and hell and all that comes with it. Think of it as a com courtroom comedy, but right outside the pearly gates. The film follows Daniel Miller who dies in a car accident on his 39th birthday 
and must await his trial and prove to the judges that he deserves a spot in the Holy Kingdom rather than burning for all eternity. The film then goes through the moments of his life, pointing out the bad and the good that he did, and commenting on these actions on whether they were selfless or not, and so on. While the premise is very much like A Christmas Carol, it's the actions involved that really carry you along in this film, and that's why you should head over to Prime, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Number 9. Flatliners when it comes to science, there are all kinds of instruments being developed to study the afterlife. You've probably heard of things like EVP and EMF and special cameras that have variable recording spectrums and so forth. But much of that involves finding a place that is quote unquote actually haunted in order to investigate the readings. Well, what if you cut out the middleman and used yourself as a subject by temporarily ending your own life to see the afterlife and then having others bring you back from the dead. Enter the premise for Flatliners, a film that boasts a stacked cast including Kevin Bacon, Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, Oliver Platt, and William Baldwin. At first, it is merely a curiosity, something many scientists and doctors over millennia have questioned. What happens to us when we die? Do we have souls? And if we do, where do they go after our bodies give out? But then, from the dark things they see and the strange visions they begin to have afterward, it almost takes on a level of addiction to some of the characters, beyond curiosity and more in the territory of watching a car crash and being unable to look away. They did remake the film in 2017 but they focus more on the jump scares rather than the paranormal and philosophical side of the story. So make sure to check out the original 1990 version over on Apple TV, Fandango, or Prime. Number 10, Nine Days. I'm sure most of you have heard the word purgatory before, a place in most religious texts where a soul goes to repent for all the sins before going on to live in the kingdom of heaven. But what if there was such a place for new souls to audition for returning to life? Souls who have previously lived a life and are being given a chance to be reborn, either as a human being or a guardian angel. So this film is about an arbiter who judges souls before they inhabit the bodies of new living humans. How does this fit in on the list? Well, because in order to judge them, they must peer through the eyes of others who came before them, learn about their lives and emotions and so much more up until their deaths, and why or why not they are worthy of being reborn or given the opportunity to become something more for the first time. I know I'm being a bit vague here, but that's because it's truly a film you've got to sit down and take in without too much information up front and understand the process these souls go through. It's not like those Disney films, Soul or Inside Out, where emotions and such take on a physical form and just spell it out for you. It's much deeper than that. And while the film may not resonate with everyone, those who have been searching for a deeper meaning in life may find something here that might comfort them. Head on over to Stars, Hulu, Sling TV, Prime, Philo, Apple TV, or Fandango to check it out. Thanks for checking out the video. Did we leave any films off the list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tap that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. You can reach out to us on Twitter or X at Studios Fat, or chat with us on Discord, linked below. Make sure to check out our very own merch store located at fatninja.shop. All proceeds go towards our next film project, so we'd greatly appreciate it. I've been your host, Jamie. Thanks again. See you in the next one.